YouTube. Try stars. Hear me, I said. Try stars. I check in one more time. You know, somebody had a mechanic place though. Yeah, somebody had a mechanic in a Ontario. Mississauga. You don't know. And here we are going now. The mechanic same up one of the baddest electrician. Auto electrician for trucks, right? So I know him, yellow recommend him, and I go prove him, I go find out if he's really good. I go find out if he's bad as well. The mechanic say he's bad and he can do him work. So the plan is my trailer light, my trailer card connection not working. It's just to find out if his skill is there. I don't know what time he's coming. Make sure you watch the video until the finish. As soon as he, he comes in, after the video is finished, TriStar is going to let you know. We're going to see if he passed the test. Our best auto technician, we're going to find it out in another video here. Thanks for watching. TriStar. For more videos like this, please subscribe. So we're just doing a trailer plug here. You can see the cord end is no good. And we were having a problem with the trailer lights cutting in and out. You can see that this cord end had better days from before. So pretty much first thing you want to do is you're going to want to strip down the old cord. You'll have a, you'll have a little set screw here and you're going to want to take the set screw out and that'll release the plug from the body of the cord. Once you get that out, you're going to have to make a decision whether you're going to want to pull the wires and try and save it or you can just cut it off like we did because the cord was already ruptured and someone had put tape on it before. So we're gonna start fresh. So we're gonna try and use back the original cord because you have it all set up nice already. So we're gonna use it back and start off fresh. So if you're on the road, you're gonna have to get a big cable cutters or something, whatever you have in the truck pocket. Or if you're in the shop, you're gonna use a cable cutter. Just chop the cord where you see fit and uh, take care to make sure the lights are off. That way you don't blow all the fuses because when you chop through it, you're gonna blow every fuse. So once you cut it, you're gonna wanna figure out where you should be, where you're gonna wanna make a cut on the, on the insulation of the main cable. So I've already started to cut it, as you can see there. So you're gonna use a utility knife, a blade, whatever you have handy, pocket knife, Swiss Army, something. But if you're on the road, you can have to make do with what you have. So this is going to be something that you might have to do at a truck stop, on the side of the road, at a yard, somewhere. Because you know, as a truck owner, this will be something you have to figure out on your own. If it's a trailer problem or if it's a truck problem, you know, they make little handy tools that you can plug in to check and see if you have all the signals coming up the root of the cord. So what I'm doing here is I'm just stripping off a fair amount of wire here because this is what we're gonna use to put in the new cord end. These trailer cords are industry standard no matter where. I don't know about Europe, but in North America, you can't wrong. Anywhere you buy one of these cord plug, all the same, all the same. Whether it's plastic, metal, Anything, any brand of truck. You can go any place and buy a, 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 a new cord. So no matter where you are, you can always get a cord plug or a trailer cord. We all know they're all the same. So for anyone watching who may not know, you can always get plug anywhere. So everything's stripped off here. Fair amount, even all the way. So you got the new body on there. Make sure you do that before, otherwise you're gonna do this twice. And if you look here, you can see that yellow, black, white, brown, green, red, blue in the center for auxiliary lift axle, maybe trailer ABS. And uh, you can easily Google whatever the wire colors signify, but the, the easiest way to go about it is red for stop, that's self-explanatory yellow for the line in the road, that'll be to your left if you're in North America, uh, green for grass on the right, blue for auxiliary, white ground, and black and brown, they kinda do a dual purpose, but they do the same thing. One will be for your top trailer lights and one will be for a marker. And uh, some guys might already know this. They, if you have an issue 
with the trailer or the truck side, you can take a jumper wire behind here. A lot of guys will do that. They'll take a jumper wire and just jump a wire across to get to get power temporarily. So really what I'm gonna start here with is I'm gonna figure out where I wanna start. So most likely blue will be my best bet in the center. So as long as you have a couple screwdrivers handy, number one Phillips, number two Phillips, a flat, strippers, cable cutter, if you're lucky, you have one, a, a razor blade, we're here in the shop, but you could use a knife, you could use cable cutters to strip it, you could use a pocket knife, like I said, any of that. So I'm gonna just start here. And, and, and this is nice, because we're in a well-lit shop, it's warm, but try doing this when it's 20 below. You're not gonna wanna do this. Trust me, it sucks, because I work on the road. So start with one, you have to start somewhere, so. Sometimes you have no choice but to put a new end on it. You don't always have the convenience of being able to say, oh, I'm just gonna go put a new cord kit on it. Yeah, but sometimes out on the road, you have no choice but to fix the fix what you have. And this is speaking from a operator's point of view. Company driver usually don't care, you know. Company driver, a driver for a guy, you know, but when it's your truck and your load, you have to get it sorted out. So, it's kind of a painstaking process here, but... Once you have a light, set yourself up with a light. Maybe you have a load light on the back of the cab. Or if you can, you can take off the cord and do it in the bunk if you have a sleeper truck. You know, use your leg as a workbench. So, we got two wires started out there, white, blue, you know, and we're just gonna work our way around. And if you're not careful and you you're not paying attention, and you put the wrong color, <laughs> you're gonna have an issue. Right when you go left and left when you go right, and maybe when you hit the brakes, a trailer light's gonna come on on the roof, so. Pay attention to what you're doing. Get a flashlight out and do what you can. Maybe do it under a light as best you can. Or just pay someone and let them suffer. That's the whole point of doing this yourself is to not pay the man. cord tester just to make sure that everything worked and I'll show you how to test the cord. So we're gonna use a cord tester look like this you can try and find one on Amazon or local supplier or tool distributor um, this uses LED just to tell you your positions when everything's working it's really simple um, obviously green is if it's working and red if it's a short circuit so we're gonna take out Troy's temporary cord here that he put in place get this one ready for action again and so the nice thing about this double-ended tool is that it works both ways so you plug it in and you can see it working the only thing we don't have working right now is a stoplight because no one's pressing on the brake so at least right now we know coming out of the back of the truck we're good so we'll take that out and plug in the cord that we're gonna use Make sure it lock in good. And before we close up the cord that we just repair, I'm gonna come in and you can see everything's good. Auxiliary, clearance, right turn, left turn. And, and you know what? These LED lights are so sensitive that if there is actually a problem in the cord, where inside the bundle is shorted somewhere where we can't see it, this cord is gonna show us, the tester, I'm sorry. Once you've put all your wires together and you determine that everything's working, hopefully they're working, you'll put the receptacle back together. You'll have a small set screw that hopefully you didn't lose in this whole process. 
barely try and start it. And use your little flathead to screw it, secure it. And then you also have one there that'll cinch, cinch it in so that if you ever decide to rip on it, cause you don't want to pull it out properly, you won't rip the cord right out of the receptacle, but you take the, the cinch, little flathead, and you have a little metal piece that'll lock in that cord. You tighten it down until it won't stop. And that's it. For more videos like this, please subscribe.